We track storms to alert you first. This is KIMT Storm Team 3, weather coverage you can count on. Welcome back to KIMT on this beautiful Saturday evening. I'm joined now by Storm Team 3 meteorologist Travis Clark Smith. And Travis, we are sitting pretty comfortable in these 70 degree temperatures. We are, Sananda. And if you like today, it's going to be so much better tomorrow and Sunday, uh, or excuse me, tomorrow and Monday as temperatures fall a little bit, so we're getting that nice taste of fall. High temperatures today were right around that 80 degree mark, one degree above or below that 80 degree mark, depending on where you are. Here in Rochester, we topped out at 79. Preston, Austin, Albert Lee, all at 81. Same in Charles City and Mason City. Topped out a little toasty at 82 degrees, all a little bit warmer than our normal high temperature of 76 degrees for the 31st of August. Taking a live look right now in Rochester though, 68 degrees, clear skies, those dew points are also pretty low, so it is feeling very nice out there right now. Winds out of the southwest at 13 miles per hour. In Mason City, 73 degrees, so still a little bit warmer just south of the Iowa-Minnesota border. Winds out of the west-southwest at 10 miles per hour. All going to be falling down into the 50s for tonight. But as we go into Sunday night into Labor Day Monday, we're looking at the upper 40s. So it is going to be feeling very, very nice for the next several days. Nothing to track on satellite and radar right now. So pretty clear skies. We are tracking this cold front. That is what is going to be dropping the temperatures overnight tonight into tomorrow and Monday as that passes through the area overnight tonight. As we track things out overnight, you can see we've got the winds that will be shifting around to the north and that'll be bringing in those cooler temperatures and that much drier air. So again, looking good for Sunday. Might see a few clouds here and there tomorrow afternoon, but that's really all there is as we clear out once again as we go into Monday morning for our Labor Day and that third day of the long weekend. If you've been hearing lots of lawnmowers purring today, well, the next four days are gonna be perfect weather to get any of that yard work that you still need to get done taken care of because the weather is going to be very nice not looking at much in terms of rain or clouds or anything like that and temps are going to be continuing in the 70s as we cool down right now 55 degrees for tonight with clear skies winds out of the northwest around 10 miles per hour for tomorrow only getting up to 72 degrees is going to be the coolest day of the long weekend with mostly sunny skies winds out of the north again around 10 miles per hour and we take a look at that seven day forecast where the weekend is always in view Warming up just a little bit to 74 for Monday. And then as we get back to school and work, we'll warm up closer to normal. 76 again is the normal high temperature. That's where we'll be for Tuesday, 79 for Wednesday. And then just a slight chance of rain on Thursday. That might be overnight Wednesday into Thursday morning. And then look, another taste of fall, Sananda, as we cool down into the upper 60s for next week. Mid 